guys. First things first, I want to excuse this light. I can't stop it. It's the rudimentary system of filming I have. I don't have a proper black screen background. All I've got is what I've got, so you're gonna have to deal with it for this video. Basically today I'm going to be uh, telling you about Sherlock. Not Sherlock Holmes the movie, but Sherlock the BBC production with Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman. I really love the series. Both series, I cried. Waiting for season three, and then you got see you got a four as well. I'm gonna die, okay? Do you know how long the Sherlock fandom has to wait? Ugh! We go crazy. Ugh! Moritati, people, ever heard of Moritati? Yeah, be disturbed. Be dis. If you haven't heard of Sherlock, it's a really good British reproduction of Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes was originally a British character. It's a modern take on a classic tale and I really like the way they twist things constantly. For example, you have the Greek interpretator. That was probably said wrong but we're gonna live with it. Which is a Sherlock Holmes book. However, on the BBC version they very smartly put the geek interpretator. That's not an entire episode. That was just one little plot device that they put in. And it's brilliant. They put little things in to do with the classic homes. And I love it. I love it because I, I love getting references. Understanding references makes my life happy. So essentially, the plot changes with each episode. But it's basically John and Sherlock going around solving their little Scooby-Doo adventures. Which I love because you can really build on that relationship. Warning to all those who are sane. Skip. A little bit and if you start hearing the words gay skip some more because John and Sherlock are so gay oh my god John Locke is canon people if you don't believe John Locke is canon go home okay if you're home leave the house because John Locke is canon 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 I'm sorry I'm a I'm a little passionate about John Locke you see you can see their relationship constantly building and constantly becoming more. They're, they're in love. I mean, no one says it better than Irene Adler. They both love the same man. Even though apparently that's not her sexuality. She still loves him. He loves him. They love him. Gay! Okay, away from my gay antics, you've got my favourite character, which is Molly Hooper. I love Molly so much. She's such an underrated character. But the further you progress, the more her minor character status becomes secondary character. And soon she's a main character. She loves Sherlock. But that's okay. Because she loves him in her own little way. She's like a fan. She knows he doesn't care about her, but she wish he did. And by the end, you, you see her telling him, look, I know you don't care, but I care about you. I see things that no one else sees because you don't pay attention to me because I don't matter to you. Molly, you matter to me, okay? I love you. I love you. Also, along with shipping John Locke, I ship Sherlolly. So, Sherlolly all the way. I just want them to get together. If it, if, if, if it has to become canon, if you have to have Sherlock in a relationship, pick Molly. Please. I'm begging you. Mark Moffat, listen to me. I want either John Locke or Sherlock. Screw Irene, because she's meant to be dead. John's not meant to know. But she's meant to be dead, so just just forget it, okay? I want either one of those two ships or screw you. Even even one thing where they have to pretend to be together. Fine with because that my favourite moments has to be the conversation. When they both are trying to have a conversation with the other person, but they're not paying attention. So they're basically talking to themselves. Confirmed bachelor John Watson. Best. Best. What does that even mean? Why does it have two ends? Brilliant acting. Thank you so much. It's beautiful and I love it. You guys, Benedict, Martin, Martin, you've got a BAFTA. 
You don't need anything else. Also, Benedict Cumberbatch, thank you for your name. It's been hard to say. I've had to do this retaken so many times because I can't say your name. Can't can't be bad as Ezekiel Wigglesworth from Doctor Who, who played young Rory. Just gonna point that out. I have to say, as a rating, zero. Because you've turned me insane from waiting so long. I'm kidding, guys, I'm kidding. At least an 8 out of 10. It's such a good series, so well thought out, but I do have to watch it a couple of times to understand what's going on. That might be because I'm an idiot, but I like seeing extra little pieces that I didn't pick up on the first time. I rewatched it, I'm like, oh my god, how did I not see that? Or I do it to cry. If I need to so thanks guys for watching this review of Sherlock. I hope you decide to go and watch Sherlock from now on because it will make you fall in love with characters that you never thought you would be able to. When I first heard about Benedict Cumberbatch and how one of my friends love him, I'm like, he has a weird face. Now I love Benedict Cumberbatch. I love him. I hate his name, but I love him. That's a lie, I love his name. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised what kind of characters you fall in love with. And after watching Sherlock and then going to watch The Hobbit, it's like, my little babies after destroying people. <laughs> Go watch Sherlock. Comment about Sherlock and your feels and how you have to wait for um, series three and Maury Tarty. Um, like if you liked. Please don't dislike my videos. I really, I, 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 li I like approval, not disapproval. Disapproval hurts my feelings. I'm kidding, it's a free world. Dislike my video and I'll chop off your balls. I'm kidding again. <laughs> Thank you for watching, this is me, Safi, doing a review, signing off.